right, everybody's favorite guy in the suit is here. Um, so I haven't actually watched the last combat cast, uh, which is, I think, uh, Havoc, Reiko, and somebody else. I'm not even sure. I just kept myself out of it because I didn't want to be spoiled. Um, game is obviously out, but this is what I can react to because I haven't even watched the story mode because I don't have MK1, so I can't really watch. I've watched some gameplay, but I'm not watching story mode trying to get myself spoiled. So this is my reaction to the latest combat cast. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm only, I know my content is coming out like two or three weeks later after the fact, but content is content and I gotta put something on my channel. Um, yeah, you know, with my current situation, I, I just have to do with what I have. So let's get right into it without further delay. <coughs> This game looks so sick, bro. I'm not trying to see that. The combat cast starts now. All right. All right. Welcome everyone to the combat cast. There nah, we go. Derek. <laughs> All right. So, so Derek's back. Um, if you couldn't yeah, tell, he's back. Yeah. Um, so welcome to the combat cast. Right before. Right before launch, uh, of course, we're okay. going to start playing the game with the early access. It's happening. It's happening. So very excited. Um, we got a couple things to show you today. We're going to talk about invasions. Yes, sir. We're going to talk about some characters. Shang Tsung, Reiko. Very Ooh. excited. Reiko oh, or Shang Tsung. Okay. Reiko. I'm going for Reiko. It's pronounced Reiko. Is it Reiko? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm going to get that wrong forever. Reiko. Um, so Reiko or Reiko? That, it's Reiko. We're going to get to a trailer that some of you have probably seen, but we always like starting out with the trailer. So here All we right. go. Let's All take right. a look. Which trailer is this? Which trailer is this? In the Shao Kahn one. Having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time, I was free to craft a new era of Oh, peace. the launch trailer, okay. As long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fenjian. Is it so wrong to want some excitement? This game looks so good, man. The time draws near for the grand martial arts tournament between Earthrealm and the Outworld. Because Johnny Cage. It has begun. Oh, come on, that's Shang Tsung's line. Shijinko, okay. You are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Reiko, there you go. Okay, look at him go. Uh, uh, uh. That's the first time I've actually seen Reiko. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Man. Okay. Like to increase the quality a little bit. I don't like this people who handle it though. If it doesn't handle it, then we'll leave it there. We'll go back to 480. Two Johnnies, one timeline. Man, this has mega hit written all over it. So sick. Inferior clans who will fall to the Lin Kuei. Sub Zero. Yeah, the food looks more crispy now. There will be spoils in this war. Let us win it first, brother. I will aid you. Okay, Baraka taking. If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Katana will take your place. There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. Your race can shape shift. This game looks so good, boy. I am your deliverer, Shanks. Chronica! Join me. 
and I will put the realms at your feet. Well, oh no, go bye bye. Destiny. I like that smile right there. Wow, okay, that's the first time I'm seeing Shang Tsung, okay. And she Jinko. Huh? No, that is Shang Tsung. Just Shang Tsung, okay. It looks so good. So Shang Tsung is the, is the villain though. That is such a dangerous fatality, man. Such a dangerous fatality. Shine. That's his laugh from MK11. He looks so good. Okay, I wanna see I wanna see what he can do. I I wanna see what Shang Tsung can do. Show me. Show me right now. Show Shang Tsung like right, in the beginning. Back. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting very close. This is exciting. It's upon us. Very exciting. Um, and more exciting things to talk about, Derek. Mm -hmm. a, a mode that you worked a lot on. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, want to talk a little bit? Some people have seen a little little bits and pieces of, but we sure. want to go more into depth. We have some questions we we found off the internet, and whatnot about uh -huh. invasions. Yes. Invasions. So what? What are invasions? Whew. Uh, invasions. Okay, is Zing's explaining. I just need to see if my camera is okay. Mode for Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, what we've done is we've kind of taken what we did with yeah, the see me well. and the crypt in previous games, and we combine them into Invasions. And Invasions is an RPG-like experience okay. going through the different realms, or mesas as we like to call them, of mesas. Mortal Kombat 1 okay. to defeat the invading force. All right. each, each season is about an invading force coming into Liu Kang's time. And season one is about Hanzo Hasashi, and he has come. Be oh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to spoil. It. We're going to show a video afterwards we about that. And so every uh, every season, you'll have new Mesa, you'll have new content, and a new story, and a new invading boss. Awesome, and we're getting some of that too as well. Yes. And we yes. do have. We have some. Do we want to start with some videos now? Um. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's right. do it. So you talked about the Mesa Selects. Yes. Let's take a look at that. So this is, this okay. is where it all happens. This is where it all village. You see you got Scorpion Wind over that one something. there. At the Wind end. center. That one would be the final Mesa. Mm -hmm. um, and as you progress, uh, you will unlock each one of these Mesas. We don't want people to get into content that might be too hard for them. So we've also added a level of progression to this system. Okay. Uh, you'll start off in the Tea House Mesa and make your way all the way to Scorpion. And then that center mesa that we have highlighted there, that's called the gateway. And so if you were to finish all the content of the, uh, of the season, but you still want to play fights and you still want to, you know, do one thing or another, you can through the gateway mesa, which has constant rotating content, similar to what we had in Towers of Time, where there's new daily, new so there's, hourly, so there's no new more Towers of Time, and a seasonal tower, which okay. should be like max level before you even start that. And there's warnings. I was playing that the other day, and a uh, very high-level gearist yeah. bodied me. Yes. Well, was it me? About it. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we named it Lanny. Yeah. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah. So, so just what we're talking about here with the mm -hmm. maces, there is... Man, I had missed combat casting. I oh, hope wait. they continued this after launch. That stuff, you can go do more stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there's, there's always something to do in Invasions. Mm -hmm. And like I <clears throat> kind of touched on earlier, it definitely has RPG elements where you can allocate stats, so you can kind of like have your fighters be as strong in one uh, category or another, and yeah, and there's elements and there's there's a lot. There's a lot to <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, and it's neat. Like in the QA lab, you'll hear like all the hot takes. Like one person's like, "Oh, I dump all my stats into attack. I'm yellow. That's what I do. Go That's absolutely what? what I. I know. I know. I know. People have a more balanced approach. There's also you can have your stats be automatic, mm -hmm. which is what I do. Right. <laughs> and it just kind of balances it out. And, and what people start to do is they start forming like teams, right? Depending upon what kind of challenges they're coming up to. So it really encourages you to change your characters or change your cameos frequently as well. Um, and helps so, learn okay. yeah, and show me Shang Tsung already. Yeah. And so choosing one stuff. character could give you an advantage in a fight. You're not necessarily required to do that, 
But once you engage more with the systems, you'll be like, ooh, I know if I pick Raiden against Sub-Zero, I'm going to win because uh, Sub-Zero is weak to electricity. Yeah, the, the, the min-maxers out there are going to find exactly what needs to be done, switching out every time, doing it's all It's going to be exactly. easy, like tons exactly. of time like in said, MK11, because it's going to... Everybody's going to find the next easy we'll make thing brand to new do. content with a brand new invading force. Dig it. Uh, speaking of these, the places you play, the, yeah. the, almost the playboard, the mazes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, you want to take a look at one of those? Um, so they're huge and they are beautiful. And so I think one uh, we haven't shown yet is the Tarkatan colony. And so, yeah, let's do it. Okay, what is this? So he goes through this portal. He goes through the portal. And he okay. goes into... The, the Tarkatan colony. colony. <laughs> and it's, it's very neat, because normally in a fighting okay. game you see these environments, but on the 2D plane, kind of a limited view. Mm -hmm. And with this, you can just see, like, this expansive version. Okay, stage exploration. This is actually nice. These are all nodes and chests you can find. Oh, there's secrets everywhere. And speaking of secrets, Whoa. every node has a secret fight. <laughs> Which you have to figure out. Right? Yes, yes. So yes. there is a lot of content to be had. There are also just Game is a so million deep. like Easter eggs, in jokes, references, little lore things. Um, just Okay, so it's 2D like a whole, uh, Final Fantasy. The whole 30 years of Mortal Kombat's right. There are characters who might not be in the uh, game, but they'll get a little shout out mm -hmm. in invasion modes that some of the, the names of nodes are really fun. Like, uh, just a simple example. Early on, there's a reptile fight, and the node is called Look to La Luna. Yep. Little fun things like that there that we go. fans okay. will appreciate. Can you yeah, get it, to the gameplay? It's play been already? a lot of fun to, to, work on this, uh, to work on this mode, and it was just really important for us to, like, have progression, right? To have something where you can, you can finish it, and you can feel a level of completion each season. And you're unlocking a bunch of cool yeah. stuff along the way. Hopefully, it's right just on. not like swapped uh, content, stage. you know, uh, like the well, palette the swaps that like, oh, MK11 had. I need, oh, I need to open that later. <clears throat> yeah, like as you even fly over, you're seeing that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you talked about RPGs earlier. Yes, yes. Um, a lot of RPGs have ways to build and craft. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and we have that too. <laughs> so we have a forging system and a crafting system um, where you have these items which we call talisman. And as you're going through your journey of invasions, you're collecting things called components. And what you can do is go into a forge, which is a, a Shokan warrior named Bob. He's, he's everywhere. We're going to show that now? Oh, yep. we're showing it. We're yep. showing it. There, there, there's Bob. And so um, there's a, the Shokan warrior, and he can be found in each one of the mesas. And there's sometimes multiples of them as well. And you take these components, oh God, you collect, a private and you chef, combine a personal them with trainer. talisman to make Isho them stronger. can do what now? Or you can even change the Isho element can do types with them. So if something starts off as fire, That's you're actually like, actually, insane. I, need to, I need to turn this into ice. You can do that stuff. And there's some very wacky talisman also. And so I'm not going to really spoil too much of it. But um, I'm excited to see what people are able to do with this forging system. QA has been really hype about it about like yes yeah. there, there's some that will get really really powerful and they'll actually have to come to you and be like is this by design and you'll be like absolutely yes um if it's yeah, i think the list fun, that they show yeah, us the better because that's that. definitely right. going to spoil the whole thing so the list of this the better, better to be fair like I, I cannot even paying attention which i would like to say we should maybe show some of how that you want to show that now yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do so, it we're, we're successfully going through the forge right so, right again like even the sequence just looks awesome, right? Like forging sequence, mad props to the UI team for getting that going. And there, Bob's back to work. Thank you, Bob. So we have these little tiny ones. And so you can forge it so that they become Hell, That's crazy. And actually oh, one no, of the hardest things to avoid is something okay, that is moving is slow. Default, and staggers. And staggers, <laughs> right? But you can also make them really big. <laughs> And, and that's just skulls. And that's just skulls. There's different kind of fireballs, meteors. No, nah, I think the... <sighs> I, I, uh, armor, the list they show us of this, the really better. Okay, just give me a skill to view it, and that's about. all I but need we'll, to see. But we'll, we're going to hold it and wait till people make videos. We'll hold that one in. Yes, yes. But pretty much a lot of the modifiers that you'll see throughout Invasions <coughs> can also be turned into a talisman. And so it gives you this additional um, power outlet that you can use during fights. And you can actually even two and one into talismans as well. So it's it's a lot of fun. It's an additional level of power to help you advance through 
this adventure that we call Invasions. Awesome. And say it like that every time. Invasions. Awesome. Uh, so um, we do have some questions oh. uh, from that we've kind of scoured to find. So I'm just going to give you some rapid fire. Hit me. Let's do give it. Give me as much information as you can or will. Okay. You got it. You got it. Does my level reset each season? Yes. Your Invasions level will reset each season. You will start back at level one. The cap for a season is level 30. Cool. Yep. Um, uh, are Invasions how I unlock cameos, skins, and gear and stuff? Yes. But not exclusively how you unlock them. Um, just playing the game, you're unlocking cameos. So you're not required to just go and do invasions to unlock it. You can unlock them through playing online matches. We wanted to make sure that players were being rewarded for playing the modes they want to be playing and also playing as the characters they want to be playing. We have two reward structures. Okay, we have more than that, but two passive ones. We have what's called profile mastery, which is your level profile going up no matter what you do, and you're unlocking items through that. And then you also have character mastery, where you're playing as Sub Zero, this you want stuff for like Sub Zero, you're getting stuff for Sub Zero for playing Sub Zero. The game Sub -Zero. Right. Evasion yeah. is coming, yeah. I'll yeah. explore for and myself. And so um, each I'm character sure has a shit ton uh, of like mastery reward, um, mastery reward system, the, and so and I just want to. So see the whatever game cameos show you want to play as, Rico, guess what? Show you're getting Shang rewards Tsung, for them and then we're good. as you're just playing with them. So, <clears throat> online warriors, you can get your stuff. Yep. Yes. You love doing the offline stuff. You get your stuff. Yep. You do them both. You get your stuff. Yep. Yes. Awesome. Great. Um, just play the game. That's all you need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens when a season ends? Oh. When you vanquish. <sighs> I know. Or not. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, what happens is we lock the content or we make it kind of go away for a week. Um, we want to have a down period between seasons so people can be like, whew, I can relax for a, a bit. bit. I, can, I, can, I can relax. And then what will happen is there will be two mesas that are still available to you. Um, one is the gateway mesa, again, the constant changing content, things like that. So if you still want something to play during the downtime, that's there. But then there's also the Wuxi Academy. The Wuxi Academy is a practice mesa where you can res uh, respec your points, you can kind of try different loadouts and things like that. And that'll be available to you as well. Dig it. Cool. Um, I mean, we kind of already touched on this. Do you have to play as one character in the invasion? No, you, you can switch characters at any point. Um, you have one global invasion level, and all your characters are leveling at the same time. So you might reach like a level 15 content. Guess what? All your characters are that level, so it's not like, Oh, I have to level this character up to even beat this. Nope, that's super is not. helpful. Yes, super you helpful. You can switch at any point. Were you yeah, say? like um, what I did when I was playing this weekend is I had Katana as my roster character, and I would switch my cameo. Of course, you have Katana as your roster character. And you can also have that. different loadouts. So, like, if I wanted to switch to Sindal, she can have a different talisman. Yep and that kind of stuff. So awesome. you can if you want to. You also could stick to one character. It's really up to you. Yeah. Really good. Uh, is Invasions an online feature? Always online yes, feature. it is an online gotta be, feature. Gotta be connected. Um, because you're getting rewards, right? Yeah. And so we need to make sure and validate that you're getting those rewards in that content. Yes. Got it. Okay, uh, online, okay. Is there a match for each stage in Invasions? Is there a match for each? Map. Oh, a map. A, a mesa. Uh, so we are only showing six mesas for um, or <coughs> technically eight uh, for season one. And again, we'll each season we'll try to bring in a new mesa or a new map, and then uh, we'll, we'll shuffle them around, change things up so it's new content. Sure. Uh, do I have to pay for invasions each season? No, it's seasonal content. Um, <laughs> I know when people pay. hear the word we'll seasonal, they that, think man. that there's something to pay for. No, of course, it's free content. Um, you, you don't pay for it. Who invasions. actually asked that question? Uh, do I have to pay pass? for it? Uh, no, no, we do not, not have yeah. a battle pass. There's no the other ways of. of thank we you. have passive reward structures. <clears throat> thank no you, no battle, battle pass. pass. Is there MTX in Invasions? There is no MTX in Invasions, so you cannot pay your way through it. You cannot pay to get rewards or things like oh, that. Oh, transactions. Um, no. Great. <laughs> exclusive seasonal items. Yes, there are exclusive seasonal items. Like, people have Jeez, been asking. Half of this combat cast is, if is I have, if, literally Invasions, If getting invasions, that scorpion man. skin is how, oh, or is, if Invasions is how I get that scorpion skin, I'm going to play it. And... It is. Please. And there's a lot of other cool ones in there, too. Stop talking. Um, if I miss something during a season, can I still get it? You're going to have to wait till that season comes back. 
Like, like, yeah, sure. That's like, come back. That's it. Yeah. Please, man. Let it in. I have one thing in. to add that I've seen a lot of Oh, people my yeah. God, bro. Classic, just classic towers where you unlock your arcade mm -hmm. ladder ending and all that are still in the game. Oh, yep. the towers are still We have, have that, too. Game, right. Which I will do every single one. Can we get yeah. to the game? I always do. Awesome. Um... Anything else you'd like to add? I mean, I think that was a that was a pretty good rundown. I think we think we covered a lot. Um, no, I think I'm good. But let's let's maybe show the season opener. Let's do those. Show the okay, season, season opener. opener. Season one. The scorpion invading our timeline also lost his wife and son to Quan Chi's murderous machinations. Consumed by grief, he searched them all find another Harumi with whom he could rebuild his family. But in timeline after timeline, he arrived too late. Too late. was already dead. Damn. When Scorpion reached ours, he was crushed to find that though alive, Harumi was wedded to Kwai Liang. Ooh. Thwarted yet again, Scorpion's frustration exploded into rage. He has vowed to burn this entire timeline. If he cannot have Harumi, no one will. It's like Harumi is the only girl in the universe, man. Come okay. on, man. Spooky, huh? <laughs> ah, terrifying. So, that, so spooky. Scorpion, it's, he's really angry. It's ominous, you know? It's, so that's super cool. Yeah. Have a nice opening to the season. Yes, and uh, each season will have an opening of the invading force, mm -hmm. right? Um, and there are no jumping spiders. There's no jumping spiders, so. Good to know. Yes. And if you manage to reach the boss and defeat them, you get a cinematic ending to go with it, which is really cool. We like to give you a conclusion. Super yeah. awesome. Yeah, Jeez, yeah. okay. We're gonna show you some characters today. Thank you, Rico's man. Reiko. Right. Did I say it right you that You said time? it wrong, Rico. still Reiko. Um, so Reiko, Reiko, Reiko. <laughs> you've done it to me. Got him. Reiko. Uh, people on Twitter have been asking like, hey, we have any grapplers, and if we do, if we want to have one, here one is. Yeah, yeah. He's a grappler, uh, huh? He does have some stuff you can do from distance, but really getting in front of Reiko, being right in his face, is probably not the best bet for you. Yeah, he's he's a brawler. There is, there's no nuance Thank there. Thank you. No he's going to kill my Koto uh, Just in your face, beat the crap. Put him in the grinder. Grinder. Grinder, don't stop. Grinder, don't stop. All right, so damn, he looks what damn I like to start good, out with here. He's got a he's boxing got uh, normal MMA sure. style. Uh, just a spinning back fist. Boom. It's pretty fast. Highly advantageous. So you throw that out there. You might throw that again. You might go for a command grab. Lots of stuff you can do off of that. Mm -hmm. um, not a combo move, just a very fast. This stage move. looks beautiful, man. Uh, what I love to use for two, which is an overhead. Also mm -hmm. pretty quick. Okay. Uh, are you going to get that confused with this? Maybe. Might, maybe. I sure do. <laughs> um, but what's it doing? Putting you right there in front again. Mm -hmm. right. For the right, grind. Right, for the grinder, exactly. <laughs> Now here's the cool, the interesting thing about his uh, some of his other normals. He looks so bad. I said he had some well. distance stuff. So like usually you're thinking like here. Yeah. He can actually start what? from here with this elect this like energy he has coming off his stuff. So you okay. can like, you can start that's, things that's from that's here. A, that's Ooh, really cool good forward two range. So he actually covers a little more distance than you might actually think he does. Um, so this thing right here, bam, good for long range. And notice how that would complement the overhead flow. Yes, exactly. He's and got a low also starter. Have, like something like this. Okay. Just a big knockdown. So if you're forward four, my go-to is it plus on the level for a punisher to start things is this right here, and then you can mm. like that okay. Mm. Mm. okay. like that. So that's just a forward one two, quick punches. Kind of a good a good punisher. Good way to it start. It seems combat. like he's almost always in the right range. He does feel yeah. like, he <laughs> like is, doesn't he? He's got a lot of tools that it just seems like he's always in the right range. He's got uh, red gun, energy. Blood God Rico? Bang! So, three, standing three. Pretty good uh, anti air. As you can see, it covers a lot. Of it's right. almost hitting the health bar. Right. It, all, it, it almost knocking the health bar down. That's so a very it's good anti air. Man. That's a pretty good anti air, I would say. I've been using it a lot for one. Yeah. I really enjoy that. Um, let's talk about grabs. Okay. He has mm -hmm. just this sweet, okay. sweet grab, and you can do it, you know. Is that a command grab or, or back throw? Side you want to go to. Oh, for, nice. for two bars. Oh, no, it's a... Two bars. It does a lot more damage. It does about uh, 210. Uh -huh. Cost two bars. Um, you can also choose the side you want to go on to. Well. Two so bars? Why two bars? Like, I'm going to go over here. Okay. So Put back in the corner, get Put out of the corner, out of the corner. In the corner. And are you still almost at range with Not that? Not <laughs> Afterwards? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. So 
So boom, you're bam. Yeah, right back in there. Okay. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Super awesome there. He also has from returning. Mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat. Oh, four. he's got the Riku stars. And then the the EX version, of course. The, the, cir the circle yeah. moves. Bad, right. bad at all. Which is awesome. At least he um, can throw probably something. Probably one of my favorite moves, just visually, uh, is this. He has a slide tackle. <clears throat> comes in as a ground and ground. Decent this damage. Is pummeling your face. It is his Eight percent. Oh, really? Cool. So it can. I mean, I I love it as an armor move. Like right. you don't combo after it. But right. Like the mountain time that hits okay. when someone pushes the button. And then you know, guess what? It's got He's a lot of range, man. Quite a bit. Yeah. Is that a low? Very good He's still range. in range. It right, has to be a mint. Um, it has to be a mint. Oh, is that a command? Also have a, a low slot. Oh, jeez. So Which, can, you, okay. Oh, I was gonna say. So I mean, he can close <laughs> in the distance. Yes. Okay. Multiple ways. Yes. Either with an armor to slide or is that slide. You can also turn into a knee. What? What? You can combo after. So you can well. run knee cancel. You can, you can meter burst. Yeah, he exit part. So like. Oh, it's a launcher. Yeah. That's it's well. a launcher with a um, cameo. Still kind of working on this one. Um, but you can do the slide into other combos. So he has a lot of sort of like range. You can do slide, do, cameo, low, um, 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 get in his face, do some grab. Mm, 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 um, not, not, I wouldn't say he's your typical air. <laughs> War as hell! <laughs> like you can definitely, he has stuff, you know, you can get down close to him again, do that. But generally, he's got he, some good damage he in love him. being firmly planted on the ground, I would say. And then punching you in the face. He loves punching you in the face. <laughs> Now I've chosen Scorpion. I want to show Scorpion a little bit as his uh, cameo. Scorpion has some neat things. So let's say you're okay, pressuring Scorpion me, but cameo. I'm down. I'm super scared. What do I do? What are you gonna do, bud? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to back out and get. Oh, I'm push, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm pushing the wrong button. I was gonna say you're pressing. I'm watching you press the wrong button. Well, that's his back throw. Well, there's okay. his throw. <laughs> so I can actually be pulled back okay. by Scorpion. Mm -hmm. So it's a defensive cameo maneuver. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Does it cost anything? It's oh, oh, you can get me out of it. Boom. I'm back. Oh, it's oh back my back word, wow. It doesn't cost a bar. It's only like half a, half a cameo sort of meter. Um, also has this cool overhead, which you can do, you know, into a crumble. Yep. Just throw That's after it. Okay. Ways. You can put it into combos. I don't use it in combos as much with Reiko, but I'm sure there's a lot of places it does. Yes. If they're in the air and you do it, it does have a bounce to can as well. Uh, we haven't show that if I can get it. Try to jump for me. It might not work for me. No, no. Nope. Oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can you can do a bounce as well. Um, one thing I forgot that I'm very excited about because you know I do this a lot in games is I love parries. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, so he's gonna parry. Game. The first one. Uh, just a knock. I want to see that. Okay. Now, if you if you ex it, I messed up. Sorry. You can then oh, turn into combo. Oh. Okay. Nice. Nice. Like full. Not Look bad. at you, Lanny. Combo. That one. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so you can turn your e your meter your ex uh, parry into a combo. Especially for cool. mashes, cool. man. Um, back to Scorpion. Okay. He also has this move where he can. I already did that one. Sorry. Throw fire. Up. Right? Hot fire. You yep. can start doing combos off Thank of that, you. right? Mm -hmm. It can go different ranges as well. So I can do something, let me think like this. It's range. Uh, try again, sorry. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, what? Uh, Whoa! Nice. Okay. Where did you go, Annie? So I put Scorpion is actually side, very good camera. Right. Up, goes for there. So Scorpion, definitely a lot of things you can do. Definitely for combo stuff, also for safety. Yes. Big time for safety. He's a good, he's a good, he's, um... I think we should probably go to his a good favorite. cameo. Okay. The fatal blow is very interesting. If he does it regular, it's a grab. Mm -hmm. A grab. What do you do if someone's going to do a fatal blow to you that's a grab? Well, it's one thing you you, you, you jump, jump. Try, right? Try that. Has to go. Try jumping. Nope. So if you hold up during, it will do an air. That's awesome. That's but right. it won't grab on the ground. Right. Oh. So if you hold it regular, okay. it'll grab on the ground. Man, Rico is so good, bro. Like. There we are, Reiko. Yep. That was R Reiko? Reiko. Did I say it right this time? You're getting closer. I'm, getting, uh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. That's Reiko. Yeah. Gra Grappler's best friend. In your right. face. Super in your face. 
But He's now good. we're going to show what is the pre-order character, which we've been excited to show for a Shang Tsung. Let's get to it. Uh, some Shang Tsung. Yes, this is very exciting. I think this is a really, really cool take on Shang. Everybody Shang Tsung tonight. I like it. Yeah. I yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, what kind of people want to play Shang Tsung? Well, Shang Tsung has always, for 30 years, been kind of a tricky character. Mm -hmm. the, uh, okay. The you ground know, fireballs from like right, different MK3. kind of zoning tools, the ability to morph into the opponent. You know, he's always been a character that really rewards knowledge, and I think that's been brought into this game in a really cool, fresh way. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, then the new things about him is he wears these claws that have poison okay. tubes attached to them. He's in Liu Kang's new era. He's still a sorcerer, mm -hmm. but he's also more of a scientist, like an alchemist or a scientist into like. Uh, Poisons and potions and stuff like that. So we can turn him into an evil genius now. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Mistakes happen. You know, kind of the outworld courts, uh, almost like a Rasputin, like a weirdo advisor that's in the kind of the mystic arts, but so also he's working with Zindo? experimentation and stuff like that, which I think is a really fresh, cool take on the character. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's check out let's, his gameplay. Let's jump let's in. It. Yeah. First thing we'll talk about is in the smiling. Claws, which you can kind of expect he uses in a lot of his normal attacks. Like instead of a sweet kick, he uses his claws. It's actually you quite know, quick. Range. You know? He has a bunch of slashing normals. He's got this back one that acts as a up. Yeah, I, I am a big fan of this, the claw trail. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it looks really cool. One of his key okay. strings I'd like to show is his Ford 4. Which is this triple kick, really good range. Forward, forward good. only. I think it's going to be one of his kind of key okay. normals. Not the way. Yeah. And then Shang looks good, throw, man. He actually looks way better here than in MK11. It does. That's one of my favorite takes on Shang Tsung. It's awesome. I love when we have those little throwbacks in there. You can also see Throw. he has this <laughs> quick overhead. It doesn't pop up. That an off kick. Pretty fast, and yeah. it's going to lead to a knockdown. And here's a really interesting twist on Shang Tsung that I can't wait to talk about. So, you know, okay. there's always a debate. Some people like him when he's an old man, some people like him when he's young. Right. Mm -hmm. Why not both? Well, At any time what? during a fight, Shang Tsung can morph into an old version. That's cool. And this drastically changes his move list. Like, really? Um, well, for example, when he's young, his 2 4 is a knockdown. Mm -hmm. When he's old, 2-4 becomes a low. Do you think it's because he can't stretch that much? This is a tough <laughs> tier character right Another away, example, man. Back 1-2 uh -huh. is a pop-up. When, when he's old, it's a mid that knocks down. However, his overhead becomes uh -huh. a low combo starter. Interesting. It's because he's just not as flexible. He's and a mix-up machine, man. Is significantly wow. longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has more hits. That's cool. Another neat thing is, you're not. This is not meant to be something that you have to set up, switching back and forth. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you know you need to cover your base. It's meant to be very quick, and it's something you should be going. It's a and very and quick switch. Awesome. Cool. So in addition, you can see it's pretty quick. You can also do it in the air. Oh, neat! Yeah. yeah. And you can do it in the middle of a combo. Are you serious? Extremely fast. That's wow. You can also switch. That's just swaggy. Like this is cool. Finish combos. Here's an example. Oh. Uh uh. No. Nope. Try that again. So I'm actually inputting it, hitting the morph, and then switching at the end of the combo automatically, and I can go straight into a combo. Wow. There's gonna be some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Which I'll show more when we get into a special move. Oh okay. So let's go into a special move. Sure. Straight off the bat, you expect it. It'd be weird if he didn't have it. He has the flaming Absolutely. Absolutely. Fireball, okay. He can do the double. The and he's like in his though. classic pose too. Exactly. Which I love! He also has an EX version that kind of starts <laughs> off as a kind of reference to his 3D fireball through Deadly Alliance. Yeah, basic Deadly Alliance. Wow. You yeah. can also do a fireball in the air. And he's so quick as well. And then let's he's just controlling everything. Yes. Then he has a new move using his claw, which is a claw slap. Oh. It's a great combo ender. The EX version has armor, so it's kind of this anti pressure tool. Armor. Another new move, which again reminds me of MK3, is Bed of Nails. Awesome. He summons these, 
flips backwards. It's like an escape tool. If you want to get back to zoning. You can do it as an anti-air. You think they're gonna jump. He's gonna be a nightmare to face. of nails, which is what? a really painful way to land in your jump. That's super cool. And then he also has the ability to morph into his opponent. He's doing all okay, the morphing. Okay, that's really that's quick. Morphing time for him. He can also morph back. And so will you time out after a while, or? Yes, oh, okay. he can morph back on his own, or he'll time out. Gotcha. Now, as an old man, his special move set completely changes. Mm -hmm. Instead of these straight fireballs, he has a ground fireball. Oh, it's like his classic. Okay. Ah, that is like, I love it. Instead of the multiple kind of claw move, he has a single one that covers significantly more space. And yep. this is also wow. an armor move. Instead of the uh, bed of nails, he has this injector, where he actually implants you with an injection of poison that mutates you and then knocks you away. Now this has an EX version that is super, super cool. What does it do? He'll inject you, morph into the opponent, their re-stand, and then he actually gets a damage buff for it. He's Scorpion, but he'll be doing even more damage. Like That's MK11. pretty nasty. Better, a better, per, a better exactly. Scorpion than Scorpion. And he has an air fireball of his own, which is like a jumping version of a classic Oh my spell. word, dude. Right. Oh, so, so cool. <laughs> Doom screen. Is, oh, so, is there anything so he can't good. do? He's pretty <laughs> awesome. So one thing I wanted to show is the different ways that you can combo. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you could do stuff like normally you just come into this. Uh-huh. You can morph mid-string and then do a special move. Another example. Okay. Oh, what? So I was able to start as young, go into a combo string, do a special move as old Shay. There's so much potential there, man. Morph. So two different morphs in one combo. Wow. Very, very cool. That's a what? lot. Yeah, Wait, what was that? Uh, oh, Shijinko. Like that's what I know. Well, one really wonderful thing about him is while there's a ton of depth, He's actually not super hard to play because the really? move set inputs are the same between young and old. So the fireballs, he has two oh, different types great. of fireballs, but they'll always be down forward one. Mm -hmm. Or the bed of nails moves down back three, and the injector's down back three. So, you know, the they depth... translate and, Yeah, it translates fine. very... It's very intuitive while also having a lot of depth to it. So there's a lot to think about, but you're thinking about what you want to do, not how to do it, which so, I think is a really neat design decision. He's a good so character. I play him like young first round, second round old, and then my cannon would be the second round to play 16 years later. <laughs> you could do that, but I really think when you get used to him, it's going to be super effective to be going back and forth. I think that's going to be the idea. It's and so it's really fast. easy to do. It's just down yeah, and left trigger, It's right? just down and left trigger. Oh, just so down. All right. He is down. not meant down to be... Trigger. Okay challenging to play. He's, it, the challenge is how you apply the tools. The tools themselves are not meant to be overly challenging. Gotcha. And the strings, when you're morphing, it's very lenient. Like, you input it, and then once the special is about to come out, that's when the morph happens. Okay. Very well, cool. Let's talk about the cameo I chose, because I chose yeah, Shijinko. Yeah, he popped out for a second, yeah. but we haven't yeah. seen him since. He's one of the coolest cameos in the game. Shijinko has no unique moves. Instead, he duplicates moves depending on who the opponent he is using. using. Like, sh so like a Shinnok in MKX, exactly. the... So just like Deception, he's able to just the watch people fight, learn, take with out the them, and then copy their moves. So his throw... This is a lot to take in right now. His throw actually changes every opponent. So he is using Scorpion's forward four attack as his throw. Okay. He also, if you look at his meter, it's actually different than everyone else. Yeah. So he starts it's out plain. with no ability to use his cameo at all. You call him in, and he will start meditating. And you can see his cameo bar is filling up. Yep. Once it's filled, he now has access to moves. To, to a special so one. moves okay. does he have access to? I can call him out, and he can do Scorpion's rope spin. Do you it's know what you're going to use, though? You can see one charge one away. Now I need to recharge him, so I can call him in using his Apep Punch. <laughs> and he'll begin to meditate. You can see he's building his meter back. Now as, now as a player, I'm like, I want to hit him, get him out of there. Don't right. I, I don't want him meditating. And I can call him out if I think you're going to hit him. Okay. Really? So now with two charges, I can do his second move, which is, you know, it had to be this. 
Oh. Oh. Get over here. Yeah. Nice. nice. It took all ball. So could you do a double get over? Yes, you could. Mind blown. And there's this the kind one. This crazy. <laughs> Another way to charge him up. And then you get to see And you can also, like, you can have him come out, be next to you. That's so funny, you man. Call, you can peace out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're going to want to protect him on screen while building up. Then once the meter's built up, you can call him at any time. So sometimes I'll use cameo as a barrier for me to take a hit so I don't have to. Yes, you could For do you, that. you want to be a barrier for him so he doesn't take the exactly. hit. Exactly. Yeah. And let's go into the x-ray. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh. Th there's a lot there. Wow. There's a yeah. lot there. Okay. So he infects wow. you with Percata? Or yeah, that's what he's been experimenting on for the queen. So he's supposedly. He just walks around with diseases. He's a nasty guy. What kind of person is this? I'm, well, yeah. big shock here, not to spoil too much. Incredible. He's kind of a schemer. He's, he's kind of evil. Kind of a schemer. He always has been evil. Yeah. You are correct. That's so this is just a new level of evil. Man. Let's take a look at you. One more thing you'd like to show. Yeah, just a really neat scenario with Sujinko I'd like to show off. All okay. right. So, as okay. I've explained, he has the ability to copy moves from the opponent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you use Shijinko against Shang Tsung, the first move he can steal is the classic fireball. What you would expect. Okay. Which you'd kind of expect. But his level two move, he steals the ability to morph. And he will morph into Shang Tsung's cameo. And then I have access to Cameo Kung Lao's moves. That's a that, that's a lot to take in right there. It's very neat. That's a lot to take in. And that even includes the Cameo throw. So I morph into Kung Lao, and then I could use all of his moves and his throw. It's just a fun little scenario in that match that I thought would be really cool to show. There yeah. was a lot of morphing going wow. on right here. Yeah. Wow! That was great. Wow, um, that's just the, so much, man. Who, like, just have like that encyclopedic brain of characters and moves are going to enjoy this a lot. Yeah, I think it's, it's, Reiko, it's such a though. cool way to do Shujinko. Reiko is know, looking real nice, yeah. Yeah. real, yeah. real yeah. nice. It's so neat. So I've got Reiko, Garrison, uh, Shao Kahn now. Not a lot left today, but we that's do have a, a lot fight to replace Kotal, uh, but it will. Be, might be a crown jewel. It's pretty great, and they use Melina, so yeah, a good peek at her. Melina uh, versus uh, Shang Tsung. There we go. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Yeah. You thought you were just going to skip over that one? To. Not today. Fair. All right, so we've pick. got birthday it's shout outs. Funny. By the way, I did them when you were gone in Germany. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably it's not as good. I don't think it was good. I mean, no. did you have your thing that loud? No, that was done. I know. See? Not as I loud. I literally turned oh. it down. Oh. Yes. Anyway, here we go. I know I'm going to mess up somebody's name, but what else is new? All right. Happy birthday, Eric Kyander, Jason Sun, Michael Bellapani, uh, Daria Deco, or yeah, here's the first one to mess up. Uh, Code, there we go. Uh, Steve Buran, happy birthday, Steve. You're the best. Uh, Jay Kong, we'll go with. Uh, Marty Schultz, uh, Josh Williams, Rob Perluzzo. Okay. Uh, Mike Teranimal and Jim O'Leary. Happy birthday. See, that was a short one. Short. That was that was easy, short. easy. Um, Thank you. you know that fight to show, um, Crown Jewel. Like, really, really, probably, maybe my favorite fight that QA's put together. I mean, that, they've all been great. Uh, this one is just, this one's super cool. And we're going to show that. We're going to show that right now. Then after that, uh, people have asked for it. We'll do one match. Oh, oh we're actually belt battling. One match, and I left the belt downstairs. Oh. No eating. So, there we go. All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's show that fight. Cool. Here we go. Shang Tsung with Goro. That's Cannon. And Melina with Darius. Well, now I'm kind of worried about this, this is going to look way better than what I'm going to do in this belt battle. I I think that's a foregone conclusion. That's a lot of damage, yeah. man. I mean, I... No, that's way cooler. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> What'd you expect? QA, they're always so good. I think this fight will do a great job showcasing Shang morphing 
between young and old. It's really, really neat mechanic. And just the thing, Melina is looking like crazy back as well. Fireball pop ups that yes. people love to see. You can see Melina using her new air roll, and she has two different kind of teleports in this game. And I, I love that energy effect when she uses her powers. Oh yeah, no, she's a lot of fun to play. Yeah. Oops, swinging him around. So you can actually force block uh, Darius' nice. little <laughs> so roundhouse cool. kick. That's crazy. Oh, big jump over. Go on the morph. Oop. I'll never tire of the uh, the breakers that are with each of the cameos. It's so, so, so fun. cool. I love Striker using his taser. I love that, that, that even throw breaks have their own animation. It's a grab. Okay, I didn't know that. There's some classic Melina, if you've ever seen it. Very punishable, that. Oh, nice. Throws out. Oh, what a classic couple. Yep, I love it. Still working together after 30 <laughs> years. That's a, they have a great working relationship. They sure do. She's done. This will be the end of this round. Maybe. I want to see Shen Tsung's taunt. <laughs> Pretty confident she's know. not gonna get back up. I there you go. Know. Well, she already has. Wait a now minute. Now she has double Tarkov. Oh, all right. She's twice as sick. All right. Oh, I feel bad. One, one. Big jump in. Oh, oh. Nice. Ooh. Oh. Got the low side. That was uh, one of my favorite additions from KX for her. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Big Balls in Boro. Yep. <laughs> Swinging around Darius. Love it. <laughs> Leave her alone. Oh, big punish. I'm a toss. toss. Oh my gosh. Now Melina has Fatal Blow. He has not Do used it. it. It would definitely kill. That overhead low there. Ooh. She can do a fatal blow right there. That's, That's okay. crazy. I actually haven't yeah, seen a fatal blow yet. <laughs> she came out right there. <laughs> she, came, she came running out of nowhere. Oh no. I don't think this is going to go well for Shane. That's the most gruesome thing I've ever seen. Fatality. Melina wins. Unbelievable. Excellent fight. That, there was yeah. a lot wow. going on there. Um, look. And now we will just to, to close off the stream and to get ready for the, the release of Mortal Kombat 1. We're going to have a belt battle. I know some folks are probably pushing their button to lock off. Oh, yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. People but, are logging off right now. But those who've asked for it, they're getting it. They're sticking around. Today. So we're going to do who are you playing? Let's see, uh, no, Melina. okay. And? Uh, Sonya. It's only going to be like 4 3 minutes. General Shao and mm -hmm. Matar. Okay. Oh, okay, so you're just let's see that. I want to see that. All right. all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and go to it. Okay. All right, here we go. One match. One match? One match. One match. One match. Here's Here's you, know I'm, you already know I'm supporting yeah. Shao right now. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, just. Random roll to start the fight. What else would Vintage I do? Vintage Derek, yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Nice. Tyler just trying to do it all in one combo. That was a good start. I love the use of the roll. Of course I'm going to. Oh my god. That's all I need. Oh, oh. So far, this Wait. is exactly what you Now need. Shao Kahn has 1050 oh. health. So they didn't nerf Motaro then. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Sonia. Very Ooh, good. Big and safe. The best way to get a ground pound is Down to two, okay. Nice. Come on, Tyler. What are you? Oh, very good block. I oh, no! I mean, I down two mash to oh, whiff. Oh, man. How does it point? Down two mash and whiff. See if 
Tyler can get out of the corner. Yep. Over him. Oh. Nope, messed up though. Messed up the combo. Now he's still stuck in the corner. No. Oh. What? Backs Yo. away. Big back two. Oh. Come on, you knew that was going to come. That's too cool. Garrick is what I would call unconditional. Yep. Yeah. It's a, not a terrible trait to have in a fighting game. There's a lot of people that have won tournaments doing that. Oh, big combo. That go. ends it. Yeah, well, you know, right. there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. Who do you? I'm going to try and do it again. Don't worry. I know, I know. Ends your rings. Oh, it's on full screen. That's fantastic. Oh, come on. Oh, big low. Mmm. No, come on. Alright. Oh, did you know that was good? Oh, jeez. Oh, Tyler going in. Okay, ah. that's good. So no mix up, mix up. Oh, crap. Good oh, luck. Mm -hmm. Alright, here Photo. we go. That Motaro looks so good, man. Oh, big with there. Plus some no. luck. I uh, launched. What? Let's go, Tyler. Come on now. Okay. Oh, Punch that. that. Yeah. I think you went to that well, like. Ten too many tries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down to easy. Not looking good. No, hey, no, you finished oh, it. Oh, oh, dang you, Lanny! Could not survive. Could <laughs> not actually survive it. Oh, come on. This is our cunt's fatality. Oh, you tea bag. Oh, okay. I, did, I may have done too many balls. Yeah, yeah I, I think after yeah. maybe the, the seventh time, you might have wanted to stop. Nah. And it no just regrets. felt right. It felt right. Let's felt let's right. be totally fair. You've had a little less time to play matches. <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> you saw Invasion. No, that was yeah, good. Yeah, that was good. yeah there's some, some uh, stuff there. Well Everyone, done, thank Tyler. You, so much for joining you didn't actually yeah, embarrass anybody. Yeah. It's been a great time doing these. Um, game's coming out. If, if you haven't pre ordered, pre order. Yeah, you cannot soon. wait to see everybody play. If you yeah. want this sweet Shang Tsung, mm -hmm. pre order. We're so excited. Uh, for all right, all, all right, us. all right. Thank all right, that was fantastic. That that was definitely one of the more. Uh, it was boring in the beginning, but it was it had a good finish. Listen, I I wish I had MK MK1 right now, but I don't. But I know I might have it soon, one day. But we'll see. Um, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to play. Um, my mains obviously is gonna be um, Shao Kahn, Reiko, Garrus. Uh, yeah, I think. I'm gonna play those three um, and the cameos, the cameos, obviously Motaro is my number one cameo, uh, Goro and Sector and maybe a little bit of Cyrax. We just get to see when I get my hands on the game. Other than that, it's been great. Andy here, um, I love you all and uh, I can't wait to play the game and basically I can't upload anything else other than reacting to this because I don't have the game. So I will see you the next time you probably see me is when I'm playing MK1 or I'm reacting to something else. Perhaps uh, one of the DLCs might get a comeback ass before I get the game and I'll react to it and I'll post it whenever I can. Other than that, it's been fantastic being here and thank you so much for all the support and all the comments, all the subscribers. Thank you so much to everybody. I appreciate it. I really do. You know, it's never easy losing a 22, a 20 plus K uh, account but you know on my way back on our way back rather uh, and uh, we'll get this soon anyway we'll, 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 we'll um i'll see you i'll see you soon let me not let me let me stop talking i'll check out guys soon be easy love you all and peace